All right, I should be live right now, going with my Discord uh, notification that I, I am in the live section. All right, uh, welcome back to Kellyton, uh, the meme -athon. And I have something in store for you guys. Like, we're going to play Hotel Mario, but we're not going to do a normal, typical any percent, even though that's meme, meme enough as it is, because generally when I show, the, uh, show off the game, I will go through all the cutscenes. Instead, we're going for Toaster's percent. Uh, which uh, is to find out whether the toasters indeed toast the toast. Um, I'm just going to put CDI. Uh, I'm going through the cutscenes. Um, and I hopefully have a small surprise for you guys as well. So let's go. I mean, I'm going to give you guys the full experience here. And for people that did look closely, they may know what I have in store. Judging by the startup screen. This screen that has nothing though. <clears throat> nice of the princess to invite us over for a picnic, eh, Luigi? I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Luigi, look. It's from Bowser. Dear pesky plumbers, the Koopalings and I have taken over the Mushroom Kingdom. The princess is now a permanent guest at one of my seven Koopa hotels. I dare you to find her if you can. We gotta find the princess. And you gotta help us. If you need instructions on how to get through the hotels, check out the enclosed instruction book. All right, so we're not going to go through all the hotels, so I don't need the instruction book. Uh, I'll be fine. And I'll pet the other one later because he's sleeping right now. Uh, it's a, uh, well, the co commentators here are Biscuit and Flurry. Flurry being an eleven week old puppy, so uh, if I wake him up now, uh, he may uh, sink his teeth into my arm again. I'm not going to do that. I'm uh, just going to get uh, ready to uh, go then. Uh, let's uh, count this down. It's three, two, one, go. It's waking up. Yeah, there it is. Looks kind of peaceful. Looks are deceiving when Koopas are involved. The little Easter egg, it worked. <laughs> Basically what I did was uh, I set my CDI to uh, uh, Halloween. Uh, if it's set to Halloween, instead of uh, uh, let's go or something like, um, it will say boo. It's just a fun little Easter egg. I just wanted to uh, put that one in. Because why not? It's meme on. Right, so um, welcome to Hotel Mario where the goal is to close doors, generally. We st we're still Mario, so we're still jumping on Koopas, we're still jumping on Goombas, smashing everything. Um, there are still power-ups to be gotten as well, and we'll be getting uh, all the way up to Fire Flower right into the next stage. Um, so yeah, Toaster Percent is a, a bit of a starter category. Um, Super Mega Death ma made this category to basically have an easy, accessible way of playing the game while also showcasing and, yeah, yeah being able to do the uh, what you're go uh, going to do within the any percent category. So what what this uh, entails is like, we'll run into different kind of enemies, uh, we'll run into uh, a boss fight, um, we're closing doors, like, we're closing a lot of doors, and we're getting power-ups, all that kind of stuff. Um, Generally, what you would do in any percent, except it's like really short. Uh, really short being like 15 uh, minutes below that, but since I'm showing all the cutscenes, it will take a little bit uh, longer than the 13 and a half that's sitting at the moment. I think it was 13 and a half, 12 and a half, thereabouts. So, yeah, uh, again, we're just running around, we're closing all doors. Uh, like, Mario is upset, uh, like, uh, he was promised a picnic, he was promised spaghetti, well, not promised, uh, it was just a hope of Luigi, but uh, he got his hopes up, you know? But there's no picnic, there's no spaghetti. So, Mario is pissed. Uh, 
the princess has been uh, captured by uh, the Koopalings. And uh, yeah, to as payback, we're closing doors. We're closing all the doors. I, I, I don't know, but uh, li these Goombas are just guests in the Koopaling hotels. Like they're just chilling. And then you get some pyromaniac uh, plumber running around, shooting fireballs everywhere and closing all the doors. It's rude. Like, th this, in this game, Mario is a bad guy. So yeah, um, here you also uh, just saw a rainbow coin. Um, it's fitting for the month, actually. And uh, the rainbow coin is uh, uh, equal to 10 coins. So it's a uh, power up. I don't think it's ever got into an, an, any other Mario game, sadly, but... Yeah, that was uh, the rainbow coin. Right, so we're now in stage five. Like, every hotel has 10 stages. So that's something to keep in mind. Except for the final hotel, which is Bowser's Hotel. We won't see that today, because uh, Bowser's Hotel is not toasting the so we don't so we don't have to concern ourselves about that. Instead, we're just... Again, like, killing everything that is in our way and clearing each uh, each stage as quickly as possible. It's relatively easy, uh, especially at start, uh, when, when you're starting to play this game. You're just in there like, this, is a, this isn't so bad. I don't know what people are talking about. And then, uh, yeah, at, at one point, uh, the difficulty uh, spikes up and you're questioning your, what you're doing. But once you know what you're doing, the game actually gets uh, a lot of fun to play and a lot of fun to speedrun. Because you also have to uh, keep in mind like every situation that you can get into. Right, I'm just playing, uh, playing a bit more careful because it's a marathon. Uh, normally I would go for a bit of a riskier strat. I'm not going to do that now. It's not necessary. So we're just going all the way up here. Uh, the door that is here, if you enter it, it's a warp to the third hotel. That's used for the any percent, uh, like, there's actually uh, warps into, in this game. But uh, since the third hotel also has no toasters, we're not going there. We're just going to the second hotel. The second hotel has toasters. And we want to be 100% sure that they indeed toast. Toast. And not bread. So these levels that uh, are now coming up are levels I haven't seen that often because I generally only run uh, any percent of this. But just for Mimathon, I figured like I'll just get a run in for um, for the toaster percent. Make sure that I can show this off. Uh, it works out, you know. So what I'm doing here is like I'm clearing all the way up to the top first because the wrigglers uh, they respawn quite qu quickly. So I'm just going to wait here, kill it immediately. Now wait for this wriggler to get by me. There we go. Jump on the Koopa and clear the rest. There we go. So uh, this whole game is like a, a dance between you and the enemies, uh, the respawn timers, all that kind of stuff. Um, what's necessary to uh, clear the levels as quickly as possible because the enemies can open the doors and when all the doors are opened, you die. Like, that, that's a humiliation that uh, Mario cannot take. So here we're just closing the first two floors and then uh, I don't think I'll make that. Nah, I, I, I won't risk it. I was kind of contemplating going to this uh, next floor already, but since it's still there, I'm just waiting out uh, this particular floor, kill the Riddler and then clear out the top floor and be done with it. There we go. Like the, the speed run of this is also still very much in the in the walks, uh, in in the works. Like uh, it's not completely optimal yet uh, for any any percent uh, and for this one as, as well. Like there may be some more optimal stress of clearing these uh, floors. Uh, the game is pretty easy to uh, or pretty manageable to emulate. So if you feel like doing. Uh, Hotel Mario, like, it is definitely possible without getting the hard hardware. Even though, obviously, the hardware does play a bit back The emulation is, at times, a bit sketchy. 
So here I'm just clearing out these wrigglers. That one always opens the door on the left. And that spots a Koopa. And I'm going over here. Going up. Wrigglers should respawn. Yeah, you get closed up really quickly. But we have Fire Flower. We'll just uh, walk our way through. And then get back and clear out the middle room. I do not leave the elevator just yet because, uh, yeah, big risk. Don't do that. Uh, as long as you're in the elevator or in inside of the door, you're safe. No worries. Uh, besides bosses. And luckily, we're now getting to the first boss, uh, Morton, because this hotel is Morton's uh, hotel. So we're now at, let's see, Morton's tree, tree House of Pain. And at three hours of pain it will be as soon as he catches you, so let's not get caught by uh, Morton here. Alright, I can make this. Excellent. I'm in a good cycle right now. Uh, this uh, this um, level has the issue that the elevators change direction, so that's something to keep in mind. I didn't really trust it, but uh, it worked out. It worked out. Okay, excellent. Okay, now Flurry is getting restless. Hey, boy. Alright, so that was Morton. Enjoy the cutscene that is going to be coming up. I'll uh, squeak this toy a bit and distract uh, Flurry. He's 11 weeks. He's small yet. He's a baby. There you go. I mean, the fourth wall is constantly being broken in uh, these cutscenes, so uh, enjoy that. But uh, we're now in the Hard Brick Hotel. Like, every hotel has some sort of a pun on a song or an actual hotel chain. So, uh, this one has the issue of lights flickering, going off, and the elevators changing directions. Like, at least you still know that uh, once you get into an elevator, it will go into a specific direction and like the floor up or the floor down, so it's not randomized, which, well, not exactly randomized, like it's not uh, mixed up which floor you'll go to, it is still straightforward. And when the um, light goes off, like on my TV, I really can't see anything. Like when your con contrast is high, you can still see what you're doing, but at the moment, I really can't, cannot see anything. So uh, I take that a little bit careful. And that was already the first uh, stage of Hotel 2. Uh, there are seven hotels in total, um, with the final hotels, uh, yeah, again, having seven, uh, 15 floors instead of 10. But they also get, like, uh, multiple screens. Hey, Flurry. Are you awake, little boy? Alright, so I blindly had to get into the elevator. I'm waiting here because it's not worth r running towards the other elevator. It will swap directions before you get to it. Uh, we're on the top floor, just... Have to kill these Koopas. Here we are. And that's set. We only have to do two more stages before we are at the Toaster Room. So uh, it's going quite fast. It's going nicely. I haven't just lost a Fire Flower yet. That's all good. Like at the moment, it doesn't really ma uh, matter too much if I lose Fire Flower. But uh, yeah, here we are. So in stage three, we're met with the Ninjis. And the Ninjis are incredibly annoying, even in the Any% Drought. They're just an absolute nuisance. Uh, they're so small that you often miss them using the fire flower. So let's go up. All right, so made it, excellent. Just have to wait out these Goombas. There we are, excellent. See, uh, point, case in point, right there. I tried to hit the ninja. The fireballs just flew over them. Pretty shoot here. Uh, we're good. Okay. Sometimes there will be a ninja spawning, like right at the final moment, opening a door, and you're stuck there. 
All right, so we're we getting pretty close to time. Um, we, as you can see, like on the top screen, there's a, a time. Uh, when it's hitting about 1.37, I can enter the toaster room. So uh, we're going to get ready for that. I'm just going to heal this. Or I'll try to. Ah, I missed one. That's fine. I'm just clearing all the way up. There we go. So now, uh, now we're going to wait. We're just going to chill here. Uh, clefting here. There we go. So uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying this uh, so far. Um, this has it's going to be uh, toaster, toaster's percent. So get ready on time. It's uh, 20 in-game seconds, which is a lot faster than the actual seconds. So let's uh, wait out. There will be electricity spawning. Here we are. And time. <laughs> Here's the problem. Too many toasters. You know what they say. All toasters... Toast, toast. So, yeah. <laughs> there you have it. That was Toaster Percent of Little Mario. I've been a Grim Meister. Uh, it was a, a joy uh, doing some runs for uh, Mimit uh, for Mimit on here. And with uh, Flurry here being uh, pretty much the youngest runner ever, like with 11 weeks old, he did uh, the Barney race alongside uh, Biscuit. Um, yeah, I've been growing my star. I, I generally do a lot of uh, obscure, bad, or just notorious kind of games, you know, like they don't necessarily have to be bad, but often they're not that well known. So if that, that stuff interests you, uh, make sure to check me out uh, at twitch.tv slash uh, Grandmeister. Uh, other than that, like, I've had a lot of fun doing this, uh, so enjoy the rest of the marathon. So there's still a stack day coming uh, coming right up.